Good morning guys and welcome back to another vlog. We are currently on a small island called Bohol and it is beautiful. Welcome to our humble abode. Jasmine's just sorting through our, our laundry, nice and clean, ready for the day. Today we're gonna do the Chocolate Hills, the Torsier Conservation Area, that's how you say it, and probably the man-made forest on the drive home. So yeah, should be a pretty good day. Wish us luck, because Jasmine's probably driving on the scooter today. I'm a little bit nervous, but if it rains, I'm obviously gonna have to take over. We're gonna jump on the scooter, and we're gonna start the day today. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. If you do, make sure you leave a thumbs up, and you subscribe to our channel, and yeah, it's gonna be a great day. Let's go. So we made it to breakfast. Just about, guys. Jasmine almost killed us twice on the scooter. Over accelerated, almost went into a red lorry. And then over accelerated on a turn at the traffic light. It happens on a turn. I cannot turn the motorbike because I'm so scared of falling off. At those points where I try to turn, I just over accelerate because I'm trying to brake and I'm trying to like think of what I'm doing and it's all going blah, 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 at the top. We've just sat in Shaka, yeah. which is like a nice healthy cafe. Ordered two smoothie bowls, uh, one like chocolate banana based one and yours was like kiwi and banana and strawberry I think. We're going to tuck into our smoothie bowls now and then we're going to start the rest of our journey towards the Chocolate Hills for the day. One hour later. We have drove for probably like 20 minutes, pulled over on the side of the road with some locals in their house. The rain is like crashing down off the floor. I don't even think we're going to make it to the Chocolate Hill. No. It's like massive thunderclaps. We've got about an hour and 10 minutes left in this weather. I don't think we're making it. Hi! <laughs> We've had the best experience and the worst experience all at the same time. So it started emptying down with rain, torrential thunderstorm and lightning, and we stopped at a local's house for shelter. There was four little kids there. They were so, so sweet. Yeah, they were the cutest, oh, cutest kids. Honestly, they had the best time ever just chatting with them doing handshakes when we left we gave them like chocolate donuts each and we gave them 500 pesos each as well which they were so happy oh, about yeah, they were so it happy. was amazing as for our day trip today i don't think we're making it today guys no. i really don't think we're gonna make it we also learned it rains every afternoon in boho every day which we were unaware of when booking yeah. our accommodation here. So if you are coming to Boho, it rains every afternoon. And honestly, we've been here three, four days. It's rained every, every afternoon. afternoon. I'm going to show you some photos of um, the guys we were just with. Oh, look. Oh. They were so lush. So cute. Look at their little face. So cute. Look at him pulling little face there. Look, he's putting this <laughs> A crazy experience, but a very good one. I loved it. This is the perks of traveling. We met some lovely little Filipino kids out in the, out in the sticks. Amazing. We're going to hop back on the scooter for the third time. And fingers crossed we can make it in this insane weather storm today. Yeah. Hopefully there's no more rain and no more thunder. And we make it this safe. Hopefully, <laughs> Jasmine's definitely not driving now today. Hopefully we can make it. We'll take you guys for the ride. Wow, guys, that was so cute. Yeah, that was so adorable. <laughs> They're the tiniest little creatures I have ever seen, and they're endangered, which is so, so sad. So, a couple of fun facts about Tarsia. I don't even know how to say their names. Tarsias, yeah. Tarsias? Yeah. A couple of fun facts. One, they're nocturnal, so they're awake at day, but they, their, their eyes are like ginormous, but they can't see nothing in the day, only at night. Second one is, it takes them a whole six months to actually have a baby, and then six months to nurture them. 
and then the baby Tarsier leaves his mother and actually doesn't know it's his mother anymore, which was a little sad. Yeah, they don't recognise each other. <laughs> no, we just wanted to hug them, we felt so yeah, sorry for them. Just wanted to pick them up and give them a cuddle and... Oh yeah, that's another thing she said. If you touch, you're not allowed to touch them because if you touch them, they end up being suicidal. Oh. And I just thought, oh, the tiny little creature like that being suicidal, that's mm. so sad. I think we're gonna try for the third or fourth time today to head towards the chocolate mountain. Wish us luck, we're jumping back on the scooter and we're going to the next stop for the day. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Another rainstorm. Another rainstorm. <laughs> Another wet 20 minutes. The lovely lady here is let us yeah. stand underneath her stall. Say hi. <laughs> so I think this is our final sign of we should go back to Panglao, which yeah. is where our hotel is. Um, we are going to turn around. Yeah. <laughs> we have tried our hardest. our hardest to get to the Chocolate Hills or the man-made forest and it's just not happening. Yeah, I think me and Jazz both agreed that we failed today. When the rain stops, we're going to get straight back on the scooter. We're going to turn ourselves around and we're going back to Panglao. Stop number four. Oh, guys. <laughs> Luke's top is actually soaked. <laughs> the weight of it. <laughs> We're just trying to get back to the beach. We're just trying to get back to the beach. My guy's laughing as well. <sighs> not what I do. I'm soaked and I've got an hour drive now. How fun. Fingers crossed we make it back. I'm going to tune in with you guys when we're on a nice sunny beach. Many, many minutes later. Guys, we've been eyeing up this ice cream place for about four days because it has a koala ice cream. I am actually obsessed, but they've run out. So we're going for that one. And we're going to share it and take a stroll on the beach. We are. Very excited. Very, very, I'm just very gutted that there's no koala. So we're heading to Alona Beach to enjoy our ice cream and enjoy the last hour or two of sunlight. And that will be our entire day. We didn't make it to the Chocolate Hills as you've seen. But we did see the Tarsia. Oh Tarsia. yeah! Oh my god guys, this waffle ice cream literally tastes and looks insane. Was sent from the heavens. Mm. We're gonna have a stroll now down Alona Beach and then we're gonna head back, pack our bags, play a few games of pool, have a little bite to eat and watch a movie tonight and get an early night's sleep. The beach looks really nice here. I wish we came down here. It's really nice. I wish we came to the beach. Let's take them for a walk, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I think there's gonna be so many nice beaches in the Philippines. Though. Especially in El Nizo and Corin. Yeah, exactly. I think that, that that island is more so for that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. I think so. We're kind of trying to make ourselves feel better for not coming to the not beach. Not coming here on time. <laughs>